Hi, this is Mike, Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we take a look at how to potentially save yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of grief with Dead Island 2 if you don't back up your game saves. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so in today's video, it's something which has been very uh, frustrating for me personally, and that is the fact that Epic Games does not have a online save for Dead Island 2. Now, this is a brand new AAA game which is uh, not long been released, but for some bizarre reason there isn't a cloud save option for it. So if, like me, you've spent a lot of time and effort actually building up your characters and going through the story progression, doing all the side quests, etc., it can be massively frustrating if for some reason your PC fails, you have to do a fresh install, or maybe you're just trying to transfer your games to another new PC. In which case, you're going to want to back up your game saves manually, and we're going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay, so we're on our main computer here, and this is the game install, which we've been playing for a long time. And in order to make things a little bit easier, I will put some of the links for this in the video description. You will need a USB drive of some sort, whichever you use is fine, a tiny one is absolutely fine. Or you can back it up to your favourite online cloud save centre, such as OneDrive or whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you how to do it on a USB stick. So we're going to put our USB stick in. And what I've done on this one, I've actually saved the save game location just to make life a little bit easier. I've also got it on my desktop here. So if we open up this file, you can see this is the location we need to go to. So my suggestion would be to copy and paste this. So highlight it all, choose copy, open up a tab in File Explorer and do Control V. You can manually find it this way, just go to C Drive Users, User Profiles, etc. If for some reason you cannot see the files, then if you go to Show and choose Hidden Items, uh, you'll be able to see them a lot easier. But anyway, just copy and paste this in, hit Enter, and it will take you straight to the save games. So essentially what you want to do is to highlight all of those, right click, Choose copy, not cut, because you want to leave these in place for your game if you're going to continue playing it. Then head over to your USB drive, and then you can right click and choose paste. So there are your game save files. So now you can close this window down, and now we're going to go over to my other PC where I've got my fresh installation of Dead Island 2. Okay, so this is the other PC, just done a fresh install of Dead Island 2. So let's go ahead now and stick in the USB drive, which we've got the files on. And again, this is going to make life a lot easier, so you can just open up the file there, save that as a notepad file, copy, open up a tab, and Control-V, hit Enter, and there. That's going to take you to your new save files. So as you can see there, these are a lot smaller. So what we want to do is to get our other two files here, which you can see are a larger file size. I'm going to right-click, choose Copy, go to Save Games, right-click, and choose paste and it's going to say here are you sure you want to do this do you want to replace the files in the destination and yes we do so we're going to replace them and there we go so now we've got our save files which are the newer updated ones well technically they're older because it's from the other pc which was saved a couple of days ago but this is going to give you obviously a uh, a much much better time on your game because you're going to be able to go in and use your characters and all the progression that you've actually got so there you go there is how to update or change your system file settings again i'll put the link for this actually in the video description and uh, hopefully one day epic will actually change it so they do cloud saves so there you go pretty straightforward thing to do just make sure you've got a usb drive which you can actually transport across the two pcs or multiple pcs Ideally, obviously, the best thing to do is to back up your entire system. If you do that, you'll have your save games in the folder, basically where they're hidden anyway. It's in part of your profile. It is a real shame that Epic have not allowed this to have cloud saves. It would make life so much easier. But anyway, it is what it is for now. So if you do want to back up your Dead Island 2 save files, this is how to do it. If you've got any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below. If you found this video interesting or helpful, then give the video a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button and also the chime notification, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.